Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and as you know, I'm an indie game developer and I've just fully released my latest Steam game, Battle Royale Tycoon, out of Early Access. This has been quite the journey, it's the longest I've worked on a game and also the most complex. You can pick up the game right now on Steam and see all that I'm teaching here in action. So I will now play the short trailer and then talk about the journey to make the game and what's coming on the channel. Alright, so there it is, the game is finally in version 1.0. I'm really pleased with the end result, I think the game has an interesting concept and is well executed. All of the systems work well with one another and I focused a lot on making it a really pleasant and polished experience. Going through early access and reading all the feedback has helped me improve the game immensely. The game right now is better because of that feedback. So if you did pick up the game during early access and wrote a review, I'd like to thank you for that, the game is better because of you. I'm also very pleased with the development of the game and how I managed to organize my code. This is really the most complex game I've ever made and managing all of that code has been tricky but doable. Usually when I make my games, it feels like code quality always goes down in the end but not in this case. I've been adding a ton of features this past week and working in the code base is still very doable thanks to how everything is cleanly separated. So yet another example of just how important it is to keep your code nice and clean. If you do it, it will help you manage to make more and more complex games. I've covered some of the systems on the channel, so check the links in the description to understand how such a complex game is made from various separate systems. This has also been the longest I've worked on a game. I first started in April of last year, with an early access release in December and a full release right now, so that's a total of 17 months of development. Part of that is due to complexity, but also due to how pretty much at that same time I started this channel and making videos. So I've been trying to balance these two full-time jobs and be productive at both. As you saw by the lack of videos these past two months, there are times when it really requires extreme focus to get something done. And now that the game is done, I'll be back to making videos while reading all the feedback and fixing all the issues that might pop up. If you followed along the channel this past year, then you'll have seen how a game starts from nothing and through constant incremental progress, it eventually becomes a complete final game. The game is now fully released on Steam and you can get it with a bonus discount if you pick it up through the bundle. It applies a discount even if you already have all the other games and all the other games are the ones in the Code Monkey bundle. If you do pick up the game, then please write a review with your thoughts on it. I want to constantly improve as a game developer and reviews also help the game get more visibility on Steam. This channel is all about teaching game development, so if you're interested in making games, I think it's very useful to view how what I'm teaching in these videos is applicable to a real final game. So right now my plan is to focus 100% on this channel at least for the next couple of months. Hopefully you will like the videos and the channel will grow to become sustainable. Later this month, I'm also heading to Unite Copenhagen, so I'm looking forward to learning a lot and sharing what I've learned. There should be lots of great stuff regarding the future of Unity. And now here's my question to you. What would you like to see more on the channel? More complete game tutorials or more single element tutorials? Would you like to see more ECS and job stuff? More videos on systems from Battle Royale Tycoon? What about Steam tutorials, like how to add the workshop? Maybe a game jam, maybe something with preset packages so it's easier to start, maybe some interactive tutorials, or what about a live stream like that test that I did a long time ago. I'm really excited about all the potentially awesome stuff I can work on to help you learn how to become a better game developer. So do let me know in the comments what you would like to see. This week I'm still busy working on the game, making sure that everything is nice and solid, but I should be back to regular videos by next week. 
And as always, many thanks for watching these videos, and I hope you like the game. Alright, see you next time.